afternoon, folks. I was just uh, laughing at myself because my coat fur matches my beard. I could almost pull it off as a mullet or a wig. I didn't have the cap on. Let's have a look. Oh. Miserable, cold, British weather. Look at that. Grey and dull and grim. Oh, there we go. Wig. Oh, it's cold. Really cold. Half past three in the afternoon. Today, we're losing track. It's Friday, 22nd of November. So, made a decision the other day. Try to uh, piece back together my shambles of a life. Somehow, because it's just gone to pot in the last seven, eight months. So I thought I'd get away, new scenery, new opportunities, maybe. I mean, it's get away anyway, because being too close to my kids was just driving me insane. Not being able to see them, but wanting to see them all the time. Nine, uh, ten minutes away. Just getting urges constantly to to go there and where they're staying, but I can't. So I don't want to get myself in trouble. I don't want to upset my kids or upset anyone else. As much as I really want to see them, it's breaking my heart not seeing them. It's far enough away from them as it is now. I'm even further away. Have to do, have to do it. I've got to be done. Anyway, so I said that um, I would be making another camp where I was going. Well, as you can see, it's really flat around here, and there's not many wooded areas. But I'll find somewhere. Anyway, there will be somewhere. I'll make another one. see it's very grey, it's very cold and it's starting to rain so that looks like that might be out of the window. I might have to leave that one until tomorrow. I'll take you for a walk where I am, go to a couple of places. There's a couple of places I go back and visit to my kids there. One was a little museum, Wiz Beach Museum, which was really nice facts and interesting history in there and I never got to have a proper look at us so I want to go back and have a proper look not only that it's just a bit of a good memory for me there's a little park as well not far from there where we took the kids had a really nice day there big slides and everything there just want to pass by there as well reminisce a little bit yeah, so anyway guys. Oh, the birds all migrating. So yeah, so it's 15.37, 22nd of November, Friday. I am up in Peterborough now. I've gone from Kent to the south east, well the east coast more or less. Well, Peterborough's more central in the country, but it's not far from the east coast. So the next few videos will be here and in this area around about. Let's see what's going on. See what I can get sorted out. See if there's anyone up here willing to help me with my issues more than there was in Kent and London. Because there doesn't seem to be anyone down there that can offer me any relevant help. So, new adventure. We will see. We'll see what happens. I need something to pick me up because I'm just in such a low mood, just going down all the time. 
And being a Christian now, I am trying to have faith and keep strong in Jesus. Praying to the Lord for strength all the time. Praying for the Lord to try and at least piece my family back together somehow or something. Anything, just some miracle. Oh, but it's hard. Keeping faith and belief is really, really hard. Sorry folks, I got cut off the phone call. So, just going back to uh, what I was saying earlier about being a Christian and struggling with faith and belief. It's um, really, really hard. One thing I've found is, and I probably find this with most Christians or any anyone that's religious really, is the struggle to follow certain things I'm suffering at the minute really bad with really bad conviction it's strange it's strange it hit me like a freight train really badly but I'm coping best I can with it daily I'm still still learning myself I'm still reading you know there's things I, I thought I knew the Bible pretty well to be fair because I've read it a few well not the whole book not the whole book but I've read quite a bit of it and listened to quite a few things so I know a fair bit but I wouldn't say that I'm a, a scholar or a preacher or that I am even anywhere near knowledgeable enough on the Bible to have any comments on certain things but it's it's been really frustrating lately because especially on social media there seems to be this massive division especially amongst Christians you know there's so many different labels uh, evangelists uh, televangelists prosperity, preaching, blah, 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 you know, seven-day evangelists, Christians, Catholics, Buddhists, Muslim, Hindus, see, there's so many different religions. And one, one thing that makes me laugh is that when you speak to most religious people, no matter what, what background or religion they believe in, is they all say the same thing, that their religion is peaceful and preaches peace and to, you know, treat people, well, most of them, treat people as you'd like to be treated and so on and so forth. And that doesn't seem to be the case. Seems like everyone wants to, you know, point out everyone else's faults and failures and constantly grind each other down. Where, okay, in the Bible it does say that, you know, you're supposed to correct your brothers and sisters when they're wrong. But there's a huge difference between correcting and arguing and disagreeing, you know. And most of the conversations and the discussions seem to be arguments and people pointing the fingers at each other rather than talking about things and trying to come to some sort of common ground or, a, a, you know, a point where they can agree on some things, disagree on other things, but just still carry on as normal and get on with it and accept what the other person believes or whatever but it doesn't seem to work like that and then oh god it winds me up it really annoys me because there's no need for it you know if the bible preaches to love thy neighbour then why are we not all loving our neighbours why are we not all treating people how we would like to be treated there's a massive um, the world's become very selfish and there's not a lot of uh, compassion oh. it's it's quite funny because, like I say, I've read the Bible a few times and I've, I've kind of believed it for a long while. 
to an extent. I believe it more so now. You know, I do believe Jesus was real. I do believe Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And I do believe he was resurrected because it's too well documented. There's too much evidence and proof of it. And even science now is starting to agree on certain things that the Bible says and does. So that's kind of a big eye and it should be a big eye opener for people. You know, and if you've never heard of laminin, or you don't know what laminin is, then I'd suggest you go and take a look at that as a start because it's very interesting. Laminin is the basically uh, what holds the whole body together, what holds our bodies together. Certain, um, oh, I need to watch the video again. But yeah, basically this, uh, hold on, lost words, speaking in tongues. Um, basically it's, it's well, uh, I don't know what, while I'm here. I can do this. Laminins are a higher protein molecules in our bodies that are um, that work with the basal laminins, which is like the main function of our bodies basically and holds everything together. Well, this thing is cross. It is like so. Basically, it's a cross, that and that. So, yeah, it's worth checking that out. It's very interesting. Uh, there's lots, lots of things. Yeah, so I'm fighting with conviction every day. I'm fighting my feelings every day. I'm fighting my faith and my belief every day. It's, it's hard. It's very hard, especially with everything that's happening. It's a lot easier to lose faith and belief than it is to be strong in it and keep it and keep that fire alight for, for God and Jesus. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that off. There's so many other things I want to talk about over time as well. And obviously, I still want to do a lot of bushcraft things. Another camp somewhere here. Oh, what was that? I highlighted. Just slipped past something. Matthew. Hmm. Matthew. 10, 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Matthew 10.32 Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 11.28 Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. <coughs> I like Matthew. Matthew twenty three twelve. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Twenty three thirty eight. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Mm. One more. One more. Let's do one more. Let's have a look. First one I ever highlighted in the King James because of my sister. And I often go back to this because oh, it's good, it's uplifting, it helps. So that's Isaiah 40 28. 
to 31. And it says, I hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, thou, that thou everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and know them that have no might. He increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Good book. Don't care what anyone says. It is a good book. And true. Anyone who wants to <clears throat> deny it needs to get their facts right. Go and do some fact digging about Jesus and the Bible and the evidence that is being unveiled more and more every day by archaeologists and scientists and everything else. And a couple of um, true stories, movies that they made was a Case for Christ, which is a really good film about a guy called Lee Strobel. And he used to be a reporter, is now a pastor, I believe, Christian pastor. And the whole point of him becoming a pastor from being a reporter was the fact that he was an atheist and his wife was a Christian and she wanted to bring her daughter up as a Christian and he wasn't happy about that. So they had a big fight. He then goes off and decides that he is going to make a point to prove that God isn't real and doesn't exist. Unfortunately for Lee, he couldn't. And wherever he went, he got the opposite unrefutable proof and evidence that Jesus did live, Jesus did die, and that Jesus was resurrected. Hence, the reason he's now a Christian and a pastor, and no longer a reporter. It's a good film, and it's definitely advisable and worth watching. Um, another one. Mm -mm. Case for Christ. Based on a ragamuffin. That's it, ragamuffin. Is uh, about a guy, a musician. And another true story, really good one. Faith Like Potatoes, another true story, really good one. About a um, South African farmer. True story, really good. There's a few, there's lots out there. And uh, people have, um, lots of people have done testimonies and had experiences. And are, like I said earlier, I've always believed to a certain extent, but it was only eight months ago now when I've I received the clearest sign I don't that I think I could have ever received, and I don't think for one second that it was a coincidence because it was just too impossible to be a coincidence. It's too, you know, if anyone's heard my testimony and and what happened, then you'd know that it's. You'd, it, that sort of stuff just doesn't happen. It's not a coincidence. You know, there's some higher intervention there. And if there wasn't, then I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't, my, my belief wouldn't be as strong as it is. Because like I say, things like that don't just happen. I will actually um, try and find, if I can get my testimony and my baptism videos and because I haven't got them now, but I'm hoping someone else has got them and I'll be able to get them and, and load them up as well because they'll be good to have on here. Because as well as the bushcraft along the way, I will be talking about the Bible and Jesus and God as well because I'm still learning, like I said, so it'd be nice to have in, input and intuition from other people as well and vice versa. But I'm not going to get into debates with people. I'm not going to get into arguments with people. So if you do come on my channel... You do watch my videos, you don't like my comment or what I've got to say, and you are going to start trolling or things like that, don't bother because I won't reply. I'm not going to. The Bible's all about love and forgiveness. And as much as that 
is chewing me up right now and I'm really struggling. Again, it's strange because you feel it. I felt a difference in me the day after. Well, literally, I wouldn't even, yeah, no, I'd say it was the next day when I really felt the change. But yeah, it was strange. I just felt a difference in, in, in me and I've, I've wavered. Don't get me wrong, I have wavered since a couple of times. And I've done some silly things that, you know, I'm pretty certain God and Jesus would frown, frown upon. But I, they'd forgive me and understand the reasons why. But yeah, every day is a battle. It really is. But I'm just taking it slowly. Each day as it comes now. Because uh, I've been at the lowest point I think I've ever been in in my life. In the last eight months. Especially three, four, three, four months ago. The last two. Well, the last sort of three weeks I've kind of I slapped myself around the head and kind of trying to get my head back in some sort of order because I've been a right mess and my thoughts and have just been all over the place. I've been really fighting some bad demons. Really bad. So, hopefully now I can uh, start straightening my head out and get myself back to some sort of normality. Even though it's going to be impossible because not having my kids or being with my kids or seeing my kids is not normal to me. So it's a struggle, really bad struggle. Uh -uh, keeping it up. Uh, well, it's now half past eight, twenty second. Well, half past eight in the evening, 2031, 22nd November. I'm up in Peterborough. I don't know what I'm doing, whether I'm staying here for long or not. But like I say, I'll keep doing videos in and up, keep me updated on my life and what's going on. And what I'm doing, what my plans are. A bit of bushcraft. A bit of Bible reading, maybe. A few other videos. A few walks. I said go to the, uh, want to go to the museum and that, a few other places. Huh. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone, everyone, if you feel like, see what I mean, I just can't talk anymore. So much going through my head, <laughs> things are coming out before I've even thought about saying it. Well, that's me. I hope everyone's okay. Take care, people. Look after all your loved ones. Don't hang on to bitterness. Don't hang on to hate. Forgive. Love. Because that is the way. Love and forgiveness. Well, guys, you all take care and... I will speak to you soon. Alex signing off. Good night.